this, this, and this, this. Okay, so now I'm asking like, where should white play? Okay, where should white play? Whether A or E. Should I go out or should I go to R70? Should I go to A, should I go to B for white stone? Yeah, this is a very very simple question actually and very basic question and it's very suitable for all the ddqs and b oh that is wrong okay the reason is because right you see for example if you happens to play at b right what if blackstone just play at a i mean play at here so, so you are somehow helping Blackstone to get territories. So this is a building a house. So Black is building a house now. And then while Black is building a house, your st what, what happens to your stone? Your stone are still useless war. And these are the attacking targets for your opponents. So opponents will try to attack these stones not to kill them, they will try to attack these stones while enclosing as much space as possible. So that is the scary part of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in this case, the answer should be B. You have to settle yourself first. Settle yourself first. So in this case, uh, not B. So the answer is A. You settle yourself first. Build a house first. Make sure that you are alive first. Okay, this is territory. Alright. Now, if this is territory, this black stone is useless wall this blackstone is useless wall now so if he, if blackstone didn't do anything about it you can pincer so of course black now have to play at the two space dimension right so that's the theory okay so now if two space extension then white probably can either go out or do a bit of pincer here Try to make this two blackstone a useless wall. So, so when you when you play right, when you play a game of go, you'll try to make opponents useless wall and fish, and then opponents will try to make your stones a useless wall and fish, right? Then of course you have to try to make your stones a net and, and house, right? The opponents also will do the same thing. Yeah, then what can go out? I can go out. Okay. Uh, yes, that's true. If white can go out, yes. But doesn't this look painful? Black is getting free territory while attacking your stone. So white can go out, yes, that's true. But what do you get? Dame. Oh, after A, yes. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah, 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 white can go out, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. So, uh... You mean, you mean if black can play this, then white can go out, right? Yeah, that's true, that's true. I mean, but I don't I don't think I can. I will play this because maybe you can play something like this even more aggressively, but not now. I don't think it's now. Yeah, probably you alive this is good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. For in this case, because, because you can see in, at the beginning, right? It's already like a lot of tenuki. Yeah, you know. So this is the question. I mean, so this is the answer. I mean, after A. After A, you can jump out. Yes. But I'm just worried about this. Um, actually, I'm worried about this peep. Yeah, this peep is the annoying part. Yeah, it's the annoying part of this. Yeah, this jump. But that is a consideration. That is a good thinking. I mean, the way you think. Jumping out is good. Right. Okay. So another one. Okay, let me see. Mm. Okay, this one. Then this one and this one and this one. Okay, where do you think black should play? Black should play. <coughs> yeah, 
Now this is very simple actually. Okay, I'll just say um Okay, this is very simple. R11. Yeah, correct. Yes. Why? <laughs> the reason why is because when you play R R11, you are not only making yourself a house, you are trying to make white stone a useless wall. So in this case, this white stone is somehow like a useless wall now. And white have to go out. So this, yeah, yeah, correct. So now white have to go out. If not, it will become a fish. So white have to go out. Then in the end, if white happens to go out, this two stone will become a dame. This two stone will become a dame. Okay, so dame means no points. So no points means useless wall because it doesn't enclose any territory. It doesn't enclose any stones right so it will go out it's, it's fine it's go out but i'm i'm safe while attacking this these stones and while attacking i can try to make some square here i can make some territory here yeah, or maybe do some separation and invade the squarish potential of the white stone so that's why when you're attacking you are not trying to kill them but try to make some profit from attacking yep yep so if white stone plays here, everything changes. Everything changes as well. Um, white stone gets territories, and then black has to go out and then escape from this. So this move becomes very very big. It does. It doesn't look very big, right? It doesn't look very big, right? So, for example, what happens if uh, okay, what happens if there's some here and here and here? Okay, sorry. Um, what happens is like this Then perhaps a lot of people say Hey, make some squarish potential, right? But hey, no, this is the more urgent point Yeah, because I can You have to go out Then I can fight Okay, you try to invade And you try to go out Then I can I can reduce the Moyo of the white, uh, white stones Or perhaps I can try to continue attack so now uh, while attacking I'm I'm reducing the white space potential so that's the benefit that you get from uh, attacking okay you're not trying to kill them if you can kill them good but if you can't kill them then you just try to profit from it yeah so that is the concept yeah you can use this concept to actually you know, like attack the stones Yep, yep. So this become a crucial point for both. Okay, this become a very crucial point for both. Black plays here, black is in the lead. If white plays here, white is in the lead. Okay, yeah. So this is very big point. It doesn't look very big, but it is very huge. Yeah, because it changes the characters of your opponents from good characters like from a wall I mean from a house to a useless wall and by changing your characters from useless wall to a house so it becomes like your stone become good characters and my opponent's stone become bad characters so it will become I mean the you will become very active your game will become very active not passive yeah so if you happens to be sometimes right that you find your games are very passive ah this might be a problem yeah, because, because your opponent keep on attacking your stone. Da, 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 keep on attacking. Yeah. 